Oh, the most wonderful time of the year, the holiday season. A great time and for us an opportunity to talk about the fitness and health products that impressed us in 2020 and hopefully keep impressing in 2021. Products like the Polar H10, the Dexcom G6, the Trigger Point Foam Roller, the Mirror, the Colgate Plugless Pro and many others. Our previous edition of Fitness Gifts 2020 stayed at the top of YouTube rankings basically throughout all of 2020. On one side, we are honored to get so much of your attention, but on the other side, it inspires us to build the best list possible, so we don't miss anything cool. And this time, I'll change our approach a bit. I'll talk not only about the products that have been used personally, but also other great products and innovations that have been quite popular in 2020, or just showed up on the market. So we'll start this video with updates for the products on our 2020 list, then we'll talk about the COVID-related products, popular health as well as home wellness and fitness products. And finally, we'll talk about other great products outside of these two buckets. It's gonna be exciting video, coming up. Hi, Andre here, welcome to the Practical Health channel. Here's the list of our fitness gift from 2020. I've been using this product myself on a regular basis. I believe that they're best in their niches so I can comfortably and confidently recommend them to you. I think that in the category of weight scales, the Withings Body Cardio remains the top product. Though, this segment is quickly becoming saturated with other great products, such as Fitbit Area 2 or Garmin Index Smart Cable, or a ring to a wearable ring that tracks my daily sleep, readiness and activity information, remains on the top of sleep tracking products or introduced a couple additional versions of the ring in 2020 and updated its app interface several times this year. I expect we'll see the next generation Aura ring next year, hopefully. By the way, if you're looking for other sleep tracking options, we created a short video for you, where we talk about other wearable and non-wearable sleep tracking devices. The Polar H10 remains the leader in the heart rate monitor category and helps me track my VO2 max. There are other great chest heart rate monitors from Garmin, Wahoo, Mufit, as well as a wrist one from the Garmin and Fitbit. By the way, the chest strap proved to be the most accurate among the heart rate measuring devices, an accuracy level of 99.6%. The accuracy of wrist-worn devices is much lower, from 67% to 92%, depending on the product. Moving on, Apple introduced its Apple Watch 6 with new critical feature, a blood oximeter. It's an important feature for athletes, but also became critical for detecting COVID. A significant drop in blood oxygen is an indicator of COVID. By the way, quite often the blood oximeter does work correctly on my Apple Watch. But it, it might be just me. The Withings BPM Connect remains the top product in the blood pressure monitor category. Though the market is quite saturated with various products, its simple interface and nice smartphone app make the Withings BPM Connect stand out. Next one is Upright's Go2, that I found to be quite a disappointing product this year. No significant updates in 2020 and limited usability. Another product that didn't get any updates in 2020 is the Dexcom G6, but the company announced launch of its G7 model in 2021, and based on the available product description and pictures, it's gonna be great. Also, to be objective, there are a couple solid competitors worth mentioning the Freestyle Libra system from Abbott and the Medtronic's Guardian Connect. Nike's Zoom X Vaporfly Next% Percent was on the list last December, and last December feels like a lifetime ago for the running shoes industry. At the end of the last year, Nike introduced its newer version, the Air Zoom Alpha Fly Next%, Percent, which got phenomenal publicity. There were some rumors that the Alpha Fly would be banned from the Olympics. Then it turned out that Alpha Fly is legal, and the 2020 Tokyo Olympics got postponed itself. There were a lot of discussions, and as the outcome, these shoes got a lot of publicity. Also, it feels that Nike gave the market for running shoes a huge boost, and the selection of available shoes has become greater and greater every month. By the way, we have a video devoted solely to running shoes. Check it out. Blue light blocking glasses, similar to running shoes, have gotten new additions every month. And it looks like the state of the market is moving from saturated to oversaturated. Finally, more and more tests have shown up on the market. Now we have tests like classic DEXA body fat, body composition scans, as well as tests for food sensitivities and mineral deficiencies that you can purchase online. 
Recently I got one of them, the 5 strands hair test for mineral content and I found quite interesting. Okay, moving on to the product that became popular basically due to the COVID pandemic. COVID made us all think about health and find a way to stay in shape while at home. One of the key products in the COVID health related category is the forehead thermometer. If you need to test your entire family continuously, a forehead thermometer is your best option. I got one from Hata Deal and I found it pretty cool. But there are tons of other options you can find online. Another one is a standalone oximeter, a device to measure blood oxygen. Again, low oxygen saturation is one of the indicators of COVID. I have an oximeter from uh, Tempari and like a thermometer, there are a lot of great options on the market. By the way, you can use the Aura Ring to detect COVID at the early stages by tracking your heart rate, HRV and night temperature changes. The NBA is using the Aura Ring to detect COVID among its players. Finally, fitness masks like the one from Under Armour are stylish and can serve the purpose of protecting you and slowing down the spread of COVID. Work from home regime has imposed some limitations on our lives, but at the same time it gave us an opportunity to take better control of our workout routine. So a lot of people enhanced or built their home gyms. So here we have several basic ideas of how you can do the same. Number one is getting a home yoga mat for yoga or stretching. I got an extra thick from Amazon Basic and found it awesome. There are a lot of options available and personally I don't see any fundamental difference among them. The next one is getting some freeway dumbbells, the most backlogged product on Amazon. During most of 2020, the delivery time of dumbbells on Amazon was 2-3 to three months. The dumbbells come with different designs and functionalities. I purchased an adjustable barbell set from GN Polo, though there are more advanced, stylish options like Bowflex Select Pack dumbbells. Several other home gym items include foam rollers, and here the trigger point grid foam roller is one of the most popular ones. Resistant bands. I have simple one from Lim and the TRX all-in-one suspension training set is a stylish option. For some reason, I don't use them that often, though my wife loves them. Next is a pull-up bar for doorway. There are simple options like the one from Siyun and more advanced ones like the triple dot gym from Shamrock. A wide jump rope goes next. YZL Sport sells a simple version, but but I assume all wire ropes are simple. Also, I see exercise balls like the one from Tridea are getting used by some people. And finally, some people found an app roller, such as the one from Vince Guire to be good for app workouts. Also, I would like to say that some people went quite far in building their home gyms. And probably the highlight of the year was Peloton's home bike with its heavy TV commercial campaign. And we'll definitely remember that commercial about the 116-pound woman who undertook a year-long fitness journey to becoming a 112-pound woman. And then she said, I didn't realize how much that would change me. That was ridiculous. The Peloton bike had a pricey debut, more than $2,000, so low price competitors appeared, like Ashlon with its own $1,000 bike. And another quite interesting product from this year is the mirror, a full-length mirror with an embedded screen that can stream hundreds of on-demand and live workouts. Its position as the rival to high-end boutique studios. It looks like an interesting product, just under $2,000. And several more products are worth mentioning. First, weighted blankets, like the one from Quility Blankets. I see quite polarized opinions on this product. Some people love them, but some people feel really uncomfortable sleeping under a 15-pound blanket. Another interesting product is a deep muscle massager, like the simple one from Ligerol or a fancy one from Theragun. Also, I would like to add that the diversity of sleep masks is increasing. Masks from Bucky 40 Blinks, iMac, Bedtime Bliss and many others. And finally, one cool product, Coldgate's Plugless Pro, was announced and even received the Innovation Award at CES 2020, but did not make it to the market this year. This toothbrush detects biofilm built up in the mouth, so it can be removed while brushing. Sounds cool? And I hope we'll see this product in the store in 2021. By the way, other products that got CES 2020 Innovation Award in Health and Wellness category are Climate 360 Smart Bed from Sleep Number and Norm Glasses. So that's it for today. I hope this list, extended list this year, will help you choose the right products for your family, for your friends or for yourself to stay healthy. And we added links to all these products in the video description, so it will be easier for you to find them. But if we miss a great product, write it up in the comments section. 
If you enjoy this video, hit that like button. It will help our small channel grow. And make a comment. Even a simple comment like, like, um, like, can I use the mirror as a regular mirror will help us get more attention to our channel. And rumor has it that clicking the subscribe button instantly make you 20% more fit. Thank you for watching and happy holidays.